Delgado, as one of Africa's most outstanding satirists, um, how would you judge uh, the recent developments in the landscape of satire in Africa and comedy in Africa? Um, it has been uh, growing. Um, you've uh, seen that in many African countries today, uh, you have uh, lots of uh, um, products, um, comedy products, um, television shows, um, and of course, uh, uh, this is uh, as a result of uh, um, growing uh, in democracy in many African countries. Uh, but on, also, on, on the same, um, uh, at the same time, we have seen. Uh, the back and forth uh, in terms of also governments uh, clamping down on the free uh, freedom of speech, freedom of press, and, and free expression. Um, so you've had uh, uh, rather parallels in terms of uh, the growing of uh, the, uh, the, 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 the comedy industry, the satire, and the free expression, uh, but at the same time, you've had government uh, trying to clamp down on uh, that growth. And how is satire um, today different from satire maybe 15 years ago? Well, what you have today is more, uh, there is more space. And that means that there is more, um, there are more um, uh, comedians, there are more satirists, there are more cartoonists, uh, there are more uh, um, people in the media industry. And uh, that has uh, considerably uh, increased the free uh, freedom of space as opposed to um, probably 15, 20 years ago. Uh, and uh, what, what does that mean? It means that, you know, uh, whereas there is back and forth, uh, there is uh, uh, tremendous uh, uh, growth uh, in terms of uh, freedom of space, uh, freedom of speech and freedom of the media. The uh, internet and new technologies uh, have added up uh, 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 its weight uh, to that. and. Um, uh, so today you have um, uh, a lot of um, uh, uh, products, so a lot of uh, um, medium is transmitted uh, through uh, social media and uh, bypassing, uh, you know, official uh, governments and official uh, uh, media, uh, bypassing uh, uh, traditional forms of media, and uh, and that actually has uh, has uh, increased uh, accessibility of the of the of, of satire, has uh, increased accessibility of the media, and uh, and uh, other media products, uh, which uh, you know in in for a long time and in many countries uh, used to be uh, controlled by the government and. Uh, accessed uh, by by few and you already talked about the um, the contrast between on the one side growing spaces for satire on the other side um, closing spaces or shrinking spaces of uh, freedom ex of expression um, how's the situation in Kenya and in East Africa in general and yeah. Well, in Kenya, uh, um, and uh, we have seen that uh, tremendous growth in terms of uh, 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 freedom of the, the press, and uh, um, <clears throat> uh, but also we have seen uh, also uh, in the recent uh, uh, years, uh, uh, you know, we have seen the, uh, the government clamping down on that, uh, the government uh, trying to claw back uh, to the old ways. Uh, and 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 that uh, is always uh, uh, something we have to uh, guard against um, because of, you know the gains that Kenya has made uh, must be protected. Uh, Kenya is uh, has been a, a leading player in the in the media industry, and um, that uh, uh, is very important. You know, in the region because uh, you know other countries in the region. Uh, look up at Kenya uh, as an example, not only in the region but also in Africa, and so uh, for that matter, we, you know, the, the, the freedom of press uh, must be protected by all means, um, and th I believe that uh, there will always be um, efforts by the government um, uh, to uh, uh, to claw back some of these gains. Um, uh, but as I said, it's important that uh, uh, we protect these gains. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.